Hey, the Lord bless you guys. Evangelist Rob here of Rob Woods Ministries. Many of you are continuing to ask me via email in the comments section. How's my pastor friend here in Long Island, New York, the pastor Doug Jansen, who had the COVID and we went on live two weeks ago on YouTube, Monday Night Live. I believe his wife called in, Sister Kelly, and we prayed up a storm. And actually, last Monday, it was so powerful. Doug had called in, and he listened via cell phone. I put him on the speaker, and man, it was just such a touching, beautiful moment. The chat was blowing up. You know, sometimes the live streams, they could be six, seven, eight hundred people live. And people were going ballistic, praying. The chat went ballistic. And I started reading for about five minutes all the different prophecies, decrees, declares from people all over the world over Brother Doug's life. It was powerful and special. And guys, this is the way it should be. You know, every every joint supplieth the body, ministering to the body. Sometimes you could be weak. Someone else could be strong. We pull each other up. They're in the valley or in the, the low place of the winter season. But I want to encourage you. This is why I came on here to give you an update. Uh, Brother Doug was having a, a transfusion and that didn't work. And then when they put the vent in, it punctured his lung, and as a result, he's on the ECMO, life, a form of life support called ECMO. ECMO, it's E-C-M-O now. I want to encourage you, there's a great probability of recovery when someone's on that. Now, I want you to listen to me. The anatomy of a miracle, the recipe of the miracle, triggering heaven to come to earth. It's got to be, number one, the Lord has to will got to be the Lord's will. If the Lord's not in it, it's not going to happen. Number two, the will of the person. If a person, I've had friends that have been in comas for three, four months and they came out and they're fine. God may show a person the glimpse of heaven or they may be tired and exhausted and weary and they may just not use the word give up. They may just want to just be, they say, take me home, Jesus. And then, of course, the great, uh, there has to be a quickening power. There's got to be an unctioning, an anointing, and a quickening power. So, again, the Lord's will, the person's will, and the quickening power. Now, let me say this. This dude's 42. He's got a wife, three kids, an aspiring church here in New York. It To me, it has to be the Lord's will. It can never be any other reason why it wouldn't be. Number two, Doug's not tired. Doug's not throwing in the towel. Doug's not weary. He's fighting. And because Doug's still in it, and I know Doug's still in it. I know it. I can sense it in the spirit realm. He has not given up. I was in prayer Saturday. I felt like the Lord showed me a picture of the boxer getting pummeled and pummeled and pummeled. Now, The trainer has every right to throw in the towel. And when the referee sees the towel being thrown into the ring, he can stop the fight because the boxer may not be able to. He could be in the corner. Listen, no one's throwing in no towel at this point. I sensed in my spirit, this is not a time to throw in the towel. Doug's not throwing in the towel. He's not done. He's not tired. Now, Doug's going to heaven, praise the Lord. I just don't think he's going that soon. We've been prophesying, and I'm going to pray in a minute. I'm sorry for being long. We're going to prophesy to his destiny, to his inheritance. You know, Hezekiah in Isaiah chapter 38 was sick in those days. Isaiah the prophet came and basically said, set your house in order, pack your bags, bro. And then he said, remember now, Lord. I pray how I've walked before you. We're going to put, and then the, the, the Hezekiah's days were extended 15 years. So we're going to put the Lord into remembrance of what Doug has done and what he is going to do. We're going to put the Lord into remembrance. We're going to ask the Lord to extend Brother Doug's days, his destiny. Now, I had a dream, and I'll, I'll stop with this and then we'll pray because I want you to pray with me. I had a dream 
maybe nine months ago in the dream, I seen Doug going into a trial. And I don't want to add to the dream. I, this is, you know, a little, uh, you know, uh, I don't want to be so transparent and go into this detail. But there's a reason why I told my wife the next day in the kitchen. I says, I had a dream about Doug Jansen, Pastor Doug Jansen, pastors in Hop Hog, and he was going into a trial. Why would God give me that dream about Doug going into a trial? And, you know, I, I don't want to add to it, and they'll bring some clarity, hopefully, in the future. Father, we prophesy to Doug's destiny, his inheritance, his future. Jeremiah 29, 11, you have a hope, a plan for him, an expected end, a future, a destiny. And Lord, we put you into remembrance what he's done, who he is. He's got Kelly, the children. Lord, we put you, we place you in. Lord, he's wept. He's turned his heart bitterly. Lord, extend his years in the name of Jesus. Father, it's not the time to throw in the towel. Doug's not, we're not throwing in the towel. We're not giving up. We're pressing in. We're persevering. We're pressing in now. Guys, we've taken the arrow. The prophet said, open the window and shoot the Lord's arrow the arrow of the Lord's deliverance. Let's prophesy that arrow to the healing of that punctured lung that his body would heal. Father, we're shooting the arrow into the lung of Brother Doug where it was punctured. Total healing by his stripes, you were healed. We don't ask you to do something you've done already. We're thanking you in advance because of the new covenant, the shed blood of Calvary. We take authority over every demon, every spirit of death. We break, we bind that demon spirit that would try and take him out prematurely before he completes his assignment in Jesus' name. Now, I want to ask you, please continue to pray with me because there's something about perseverance. The prophet said if you would have struck the ground six times, you, as I told you to, you would have had total deliverance. But because you only struck it two or three times, you're only going to have partial deliverance. We've got to continue to pray, believe, link arms, lock shields for Pastor Doug. Thanks, guys, for coming on here. Praise the Lord in Jesus' name.